In this video, we're going to be looking at solving equations that involve e to the x. Okay? So I want to show you how we can do this. Now, previously, it's likely that you've seen methods where you can log both sides of an equation. And that's the method that we're going to be using in this video here. So e to the x equals 8, this is what we're going to be starting with. Now, if we're going to log both sides, we're using the natural log, so ln. So we can take ln of e to the x is going to be equal to ln of 8. Now we know that when ln and e meet, they invert one another. And so ln of e to the x is just x. And so x is log 8, ln of 8. Okay, and that is the exact answer to that question. Okay, so if you want a decimal approximation, then you'd be looking at 2.079 to three decimal places. But we want the exact answer in the majority of cases. So let's look at the next one. We have 3 e to the x plus 5 is equal to 92. So first things first, we're going to subtract the 5. So we've got 3 e to the x plus 5 is equal to 92. Subtract the 5 from both sides. Okay, so we're going to have 87. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So I'm just going to leave it as 87 over 3. And then we can do the same trick as before. We can log both sides. And now I'm not going to bother writing log of e to the x because I know that log of e to the x is just x. So x is just log of 87 over 3. Okay? And that's how I would leave my answer. The decimal approximation to it, log of 87 over 3, is 3.367 to three decimal places. Okay? So that would be your answer there. But we're going to go with the exact answer. Okay, so the last one. Number 3, e to the 2x plus 4 is equal to 10. So, at this stage, really what we're going to do is log both sides. That's going to be our way of getting around this. So if I log e to the 2x plus 4 and log 10... Then what happens is that because I have the log and the e next to each other, they cancel each other out. And what I'm left with is the 2x plus 4. So 2x plus 4 is equal to log of 10. So then I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. So we have 2x is log 10 take away 4. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So log 10 take away 4 all over 2. And that would be the exact answer that I would be looking for. If you want the decimal approximation as before, then we have ln of 10, take away 4, and then divide by 2, and we get minus 0.849 to three decimal places. Okay? So just be careful with how you're typing that into the calculator. Make sure you put a bracket around the 10 when you're typing it in. Okay? So that's how we would do that one. 